Hello guys, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we are going to do the mapping for the reservation DLO object. Okay, so you can see here when we created this reservation data stream behind the scene, a reservation uh, DLO was also created and a PR underscore reservation was also created. You don't have to worry about that. Reservation belongs to the category of engagement and the total number of fields it has is 23. But if you go over to this, you will see there are none of the fields are mapped. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll click on start here and uh, it will take us to this page. So you can see here none of the fields are mapped and I'll go to the select objects. Okay, under DMO, there's no objects. So we'll select this. Now the point to remember here is we don't have a DMO like reservation to map this DLO. So in this case, we can create a custom DMO as well. And that is what we are going to do is we're going to create a custom DMO. So under here, custom data model, you will see automatically a reservation uh, DMO is created and it also has some fields, booking channel, everything. The fields are also there. So we'll go ahead and click on plus and click on done. So automatically the mapping has been done. And also if you see here, these DLO has been successfully mapped to the reservation DMO. And you can see here reservation ID is mapped to reservation ID. Contact ID is mapped here to the contact ID field, uh, all of that. Okay. And uh, these are the prices. So all of this is mapped. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do save and close. So the mapping is already done. We're going to go ahead and click on save and close. And we also need to make sure that this reservation is has some relationship with the individual, right? Because every reservation would be tied to an individual. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the data model and we'll select the individual data model here and let's go to the relationships. Okay. And you can see here automatically a relationship has been created with the reservation object via the contact ID. It's a many to one relationship. The reason is because it is one individual can have multiple reservations, right? So this is the relationship here. So you can see the relationship. Individual object has many to one relationship with account contact with the help of individual ID. Similarly, the individual object has a relationship with the reservation. It is a many to one relationship. So individual ID is nothing but similar to contact ID. Okay, so the relationship is there, everything is there. If you go to the data model and if you want to see the picture here, you're gonna go ahead and uh, click on the graph. Here you can see how each of these objects are connected to each other. So you can see here individual has a relationship with reservation, individual has a relationship with account contact, it has a relationship with contact point email, contact point address, contact point phone, all belongs to individual. And then it is reservation. So this is the existing or we can say the complete model, the picture of each of these, how these objects are connected. So now what we're going to do is we'll go to, we have to do the refresh, right? We have to bring the data. So we're going to go ahead and click on reservation and we'll click on refresh now. Okay. Refresh only new files. We'll click on refresh now. This will, what this will do, it will bring the latest data from Amazon S3 into our data cloud. Okay, so what we did so far, we uploaded some files in Amazon S3. We bought those files into the into data cloud. Then we did the mapping from the DLO to the DMOs. Now we are bringing the data from those Amazon S3 into our data cloud org. Right now, if you see, all three have been successful. Okay, last run status. So this was quicker than the previous refresh that we did. So now if you want to see the data, we are going to go to the data explorer and we are going to see the data model object and which object we're going to see is individual. Okay, this is the object we're going to see here and it is going to have all the data and you can see the data source is Salesforce home and also some of them will be Amazon S3 also. So now what we did was the contexts that were there in the Amazon S3 are put under the individual object context that they were there in the Salesforce org is also stored in the same table, which is the individual DMO. So all the contexts, even though they are coming from different systems are being stored into one object, which is this individual DMO. So you can see here, some of the contexts are from the Amazon S3 and some of the contexts are from Salesforce home. 
So you can see here first name, this is the last name, first name, and you can see now if you scroll down, uh, you just have to look here, Amazon S3, you have these people are there. Now, if you want to take a look at the other one, contact point email, you're also going to see all the contacts here. So data source, so some of them are coming from Amazon S3, some of them are coming from the Salesforce org. So now you have the data populated also. So this is the graph, how this whole thing is connected to each other. You can see here, this is the table. Uh, individual is tied to reservation. Individual has a connection with account contact. Then individual has three main, what you call sub uh, tables, which stores the phone number for the individual, address for the individual and the email for the individual. And you can see here the category of individual and account contact is profile. Reservation has the category of engagement and the ones in the pink has the category of other. Okay. So this is the whole structure that we have built. And uh, here, if you go to the data explorer and we will select the data model object and we'll select individual here. And uh, let me do a filter on Rodriguez. Okay, there is a, if I go and do a filter on last name equals Rodriguez, you will see that there are two contacts, the same person, Sofia Rodriguez, same person has two entry. One is coming from Amazon S3 and the other one is coming for Salesforce Home. So the data is duplicated inside of our DMO. Even though we have standardized the data, everything we have done properly, that is correct, right? But the data is duplicated. The Sofia Rodriguez is present twice, right? We don't want that. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to create the matching rules to identify these duplicates. I, we, do, we will do the identity resolution and we'll create a unique unified profile of these customers, okay? So only one entry of the customer would be present. That is what we're going to do in the next tutorial. So right now, Sofia Rodriguez is appearing twice. We need to fix this data. This data is has duplicates. So we have to fix this. And how do we fix it? We're going to see it in the next tutorial. Thank you.